this video, we will talk about what a proteasome is, its function, and what happens when it goes wrong. Let's first talk about what a proteasome is. A proteasome is a protein complex that helps degrade damaged or ubiquitin tagged proteins. So as you can see over here, this is the proteasome. Proteins are broken down for various reasons, such as if it's misfolded or simply if it has completed the tasks that it was set out to do. So as you can see in this image, we have the proteasome here, and then this is a ubiquitin molecule. So using ATP, you attach a ubiquitin to a protein, which is this pink thing here. The protein complex along with the ubiquitin gets shuttled into the proteasome. And then inside the proteasome, you use some ATP, and then the protein gets degraded into amino acids. This allows us to recycle the amino acids to, so we don't have to make new ones from scratch. And additionally, as you can see here, there's another option of antigen presentation. So when you take in a foreign protein, let's say this protein here was a foreign protein, and it gets broken down by the proteasome, the resulting proteins can be used to present as antigens for our immune system to recognize an attack. Now, if we know that proteasomes break things down, it also makes sense that proteasomes also play a role in atrophy by decreasing cell size by degrading the cytoskeleton. And remember, the cytoskeleton is a structure that gives the cell its shape. So the cytoskeleton is essentially like our bones in that it's a structure that helps the cells maintain their shape and internal organization. So if it's broken down, you can imagine that the cell will get smaller, called atrophy. There are even some cancer drugs that work by inhibiting proteasomes as well. For example, there is a cancer called multiple myeloma, as shown here. So in multiple myeloma, there are lots of cancerous plasma cells, which make a lot of antibodies or immunoglobulins. So these plasma cells are susceptible to proteasome inhibition since they make a lot of protein in the forms of antibodies or immunoglobulins. So what happens is if we inhibit the proteasomes, these proteins will accumulate in the cell and then that becomes toxic to the cell and causes the cell to undergo apoptosis. Now, let's talk a little bit about what happens when there are issues with proteasomes. Defects in the ubiquitin proteasome system have been implicated in some cases of Parkinson disease. Another disease that can occur when you have issues with the proteasome is called Little syndrome. Little syndrome is a gain of function mutation in which you have increased activity of the sodium channel in the kidneys, which causes hypertension, metabolic alkalosis, and hypokalemia. In this disease specifically, there is a mutation in the sodium channel protein, so it is not degraded by the proteasome system. Now let's briefly sum up the important points of this video. Proteasomes help degrade damaged or ubiquitin tagged proteins and then recycle those amino acids for reuse or to present it to our immune system. It also plays a role in the atrophy of cells. We can manipulate proteasomes to treat certain cancers like multiple myeloma, and then if things go wrong with proteasomes, it can cause diseases like Parkinson's disease or Little syndrome. Thank you for watching this video, and if you got this far, please give this video a like. Comment below with questions or if you want us to make a video on a different topic. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.